Good morning, family. Today is the 18th of April, 2012. And right now, family, we are getting ready to make some Asian glazed short ribs. So let me tell you right quick what we're going to have, what, we, what the ingredients that we're going to need to make this dish. Okay, we're going to use two packets of Lipton onion soup mix. We're using a cup of apricots uh, preserves. We're going to use a cup of the chili sauce. We're going to use a half a cup of um, brown sugar. We're going to use a half a cup of soy sauce. Four tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. One tablespoon of, um, excuse me, two tablespoons of corn salt, it's cornstarch here, and two cups of water. Now, with the cornstarch and the water, we're going to incorporate that later on in the dish. So, we're not going to use that right now. But the rest of this, we're getting ready to use this right now. So, let's get started. Okay, let's start putting this in here. We're going to start mixing all of this here together. And we're going to pour it on top of our dish. That should, it, it looks about right. I think that's about a cup. And we're going to put these double packs of this in there. Now, on this Lipton onion soup mix family, I use one regular onion and I use the other one is the golden onion because I only had one pack of each. Well, excuse me, actually, I had a full pack of the golden but I had only one pack of the regular. Let me show you what they look like too, just in case if you need to see. See, and then I had one of these and I had two of these. So I just, you know, put those together. Still gonna be all the same. Okay, now that I have mixed it all together, I'm going to simply pour this on top of our short ribs here inside of the crock pot. Now, what you want to do is you want to cook this in this crock pot for about maximum six hours. I mean, excuse me, about four to six hours. So I know that as many as I have in here because I have about eight pounds of short ribs in here. So with these eight pounds of short ribs, I know that it's going to absorb that full six hours for sure. So we're going to say for a, a pot this size... Mm, it's probably going to take close to seven, maybe close to eight. So right now it is 8.17 in the a.m. So let's get this cranked up and get it started, family. Okay, these have cooked for a good eight hours. I wanted them to be super duper um, um, tender because it is beef. And one thing about beef, the longer you cook beef without scorching it or burning it, it gets more tender. So now that they are extremely juicy and tender, we're going to transfer them over into a, a, a little Dutch oven here. And I'm going to make what is called a roux or in, in, in another term, you would say like a gravy. And we're going to make it out of this pot liquor here. And we're going to use that cornstarch and that water that we previously hadn't used. We're going to use that to make the roux to kind of thicken up this sauce a little bit. So let's get started. I'm going to take a ladle and kind of skim off the top layer of this grease. You see how I'm doing that? And you just kind of tilt it just a little bit, just enough to get the grease off the top. Because I don't want a lot of the grease 
inside of my dish. So you kind of want to skim, just skim the top of it just a little bit to take some of this grease off because we don't want to, you know, as we thicken this up with the cornstarch, you don't want that extra added grease in your dish. So just kind of take your ladle and skim it off. Okay, with your two cups of water, you're going to add your two tablespoons of cornstarch. And we're going to whisk these together. After whisking them together, we're going to pour them inside of our roux. We're going to cook this on high for a few minutes. Perhaps I'll even transfer this over to a different bowl, a different pot because cooking it high in this is going to take a little while. So I'm probably going to just transfer that over so we can kind of speed up the process. Okay, I have poured this into a smaller pot and you are to cook this on high for about, about five to seven minutes or so on really high and we're going to transfer and pour this over on our short rib. Okay, you want this to marinate on that meat with the fire off for about five or seven minutes, an extra five or seven minutes, and it should be ready to go. Let's plate this up, Grandma. Bless you. Okay, family, this is our dinner for the night. We have some, uh, some fried rice here with some uh, broccoli and cauliflower, and we have our short ribs. So bon appetit, family. You guys have a good night. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.